of spring, and Allie and I took off on the first of a couple trips we planned to see flower displays. And I've seen gorgeous photos on Instagram of flower fields over the years, but never experienced anything like that in real life. So the first stop was the Stevens Coolidge place out near Boston, an old farm that was turned into an estate in the early 1900s, with some of the most magnificent gardens you've ever seen. we went back in time into an old fairy tale. The sun went in and out of the clouds all afternoon, the birds sang, and rabbits darted around the grounds. The property belonged to Helen Stevens Coolidge and her husband John Gardner Coolidge, who was a diplomat descended from Thomas Jefferson. And this was their summer home, which is just mind-boggling when you think of that kind of wealth. the displays the trustees had put together were world-class.
We stayed till the light was red on the treetops before heading home. And the next day, we filmed the spring bloom around our little town for a local project I'm working on. Colors were so vibrant that it felt like Whoville. It all just kind of looks fake. I never paid attention to spring when I was younger, and now I'm absolutely fascinated by it. Our next adventure was a local spot called Namkeg. They have a light show every winter, but I didn't know that they had a spring flower show until this year. And so we drove over on another golden evening. Once again, this was another summer home to a lawyer who was the US ambassador to Great Britain. And him and his wife were quite into gardening. wandered the grounds and sat among the displays, imagining what life might have been like for a family like this.
I love how flowers and plants can completely change a place. It's almost intangible. The extra color and life they bring can shift the way a location makes you feel. Soaking it all in, we rumbled down the long driveway into the falling sun. It was the grand finale of spring. All the beauty we ever imagined, witnessed firsthand and forever cherished. Not long after, June's breath swept the hills, the jungles returned, and the mad rush of summer was upon us. It's been a vivid dream that I cannot wait to show you. stretch here in the Berkshires. But it's good because normally this time of year the rivers are nearly dried up. You go into July and it's just a trickle and not only can you not fish but you can't even swim hardly. But this is high. It's gonna be high for a little while. This is nice. So I hope you enjoyed that video the last of the spring series, last of the spring flowers. Oh, got someone walking here. I love rainy day drives. It's just so cozy in the cab with the rain streaming on the windows and I've been behind, just so much is happening so fast and almost caught up now. <laughs> well, I'm up to summer now, even though we're a month into summer, but that's fine. I'll catch up quick. It's one of my favorite views. Camera might be washed out. But I want to tell you guys that my I made all new summer merch. I've got a bunch of new designs, and you'll be happy to know Old Blue is back. There's two Old Blue designs. They're on a bunch of different items. I've got some new products. I've got glass pint glasses, yoga mats, tons of summer canvases. The canvas prints are really good quality. It's a wood frame and the canvas wrapped around it. I worked really hard on these designs. They give me such a warm summer feeling. I think they encapsulate a Berkshire summer pretty well. And I'm excited to share them. And if you use code HEATWAVE, you get 10% off until Monday at midnight. This will probably be the only sale I do this summer. 
So if you want, if you like any of these summer items, grab them before they're gone and grab them while you got 10% off. And I know I sound like a broken record, but your support is what makes these videos happen. When you buy the merch, when you wear it around and you have conversations with people about chow and coffee and spread the word, that's what makes the videos possible. That's what keeps us all going. You guys are part of the story. You're part of the energy of Chow and Coffee. I'm on my favorite roads. The roads I grew up on. But I hope my audio is not too loud. I've got a feeling it might be. Um, but there's just so much I can't wait to catch you up on. June was was a dream. It was a beautiful summer month. So much happened. So many good nights with friends. Allie and I accomplished a lot of stuff on our lists. Everything I've dreamed of, you know, it's happening. And it's, even though it's stressful in the moment, because there's a lot going on, there's a lot of different projects, there's a lot of pressure. I'm also realizing that, I mean, I've always known this. I thrive off of pressure. A lot of people do. A lot of people thrive when they've got no choice but to get things done because they're under the gun, they're under pressure. And I think that pressure is really good because it turns on your survival instinct. And if you have strong survival instincts, you're not gonna fail. But that said, too much pressure will kill you. You'll burn out. So like with everything in life, there's gotta be a balance, but I definitely, I definitely like having pressure. Um, because I've got, you know, I've got a bunch of client videos going on in the background, stuff I don't talk about on this channel. I mean, there's a, there's a ton of stuff that happens that I don't talk about in these, in these videos. These, these videos, these, this is my life's journal, but I'm not going to give too personal stuff out to complete strangers. I mean, that would be foolish. <laughs> <laughs> I just passed the guy that I assume owns this old farm and the smile on his face when he saw Old Blue was just, <laughs> that was so cool. That's one of the things I like about old vehicles is just the smiles and the waves and the thumbs up. You can brighten someone's day just by driving around. I think one form of art is making things look easy, making things look simple. And that's part of the magic. And so from the outside view you're like, that can't be that hard, you just drive around all day and film everything, and it's like, yeah, that's one-tenth of the process to make this all happen. <laughs> There's so much work that goes into all of this, and I love it, I love my job. I love creating these stories. I, I wouldn't change a thing. I really do enjoy it. Um, it's a life's work, and I'm grateful that I get to do this, always, every day. Every day I sit in my spaces and I look at everything that has been created, everything that's happened, I reminisce, and it feels surreal. It feels surreal to be here. It's been so fun watching Allie take off, watching her catch her groove with her content. It's been so fun watching Mason and John and Jack work on all their different projects and make things happen. I mean, we've had some great days working at the cabin. It's been so great finally getting to spend time there. It's just, uh, you know, I, I will say this. This year is, is a project year. I don't, I don't have that many trips planned. That doesn't mean it's not gonna be a fun, exciting year, but it's just, we've, we've got the greenhouse going. We've got, we've got a lot of responsibilities back home. And while I love the freedom of being able to do little trips and travel a little bit and not have to worry about as much, it's also really fun to have responsibilities and to hold yourself accountable and to bring things to fruition, you know, no excuses. If you're not watering the greenhouse every day, the plants are going to die. And I like that responsibility because it keeps you on your toes and it, kind of, it keeps you sharp. Overall, it's going to be a beautiful summer. There's going to be some great stories told. There's going to be a lot of peaceful episodes working on the cabin. I'm beaming. I'm beaming with excitement. The possibilities of this summer are endless. The possibilities of this year. I'm already thinking about fall. I mean, I just... 
I get so in my head, I just get so excited. <laughs> I love life so much. And that's not to say I don't have awful days. Everybody has really bad days. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, I, You know, it's like, you just feel off. That'll always happen. You'll always have bad days and you'll always have good days. That's the balance of life. That's what keeps it in rhythm. The frequency of the universe is up and down. You know, every that's the frequency. And so it's up and down, good and bad. It's all there. That's balance. That's yin yang. It's timeless, ancient. So, I hope you guys have been doing great. I hope you've been enjoying your summer. I look forward to sharing my summer with you. And as always, thank you for being a part of this. We'll talk soon. Woo! <laughs>